This morning's match, I was pleased with their effort and the way they competed. We were down two, came back, won the third, won the fourth, and then got beat in the fifth, you know, 15-13. Um, I looked at the stats, but, you know, sometimes stats don't determine whether you win or lose. And we were ahead in all categories except uh, they outblocked us. Uh, and I think that was the only uh, stat that we didn't that we weren't ahead. That's how close the the match was as far as in, in being statistical. But obviously, whoever scores the last two points and that 15th the one's going to win. So um, I, I'm not. I, I didn't know what to expect because we have so many new players and young players uh, for the second match. I knew they had to gut it out in the first match because when you're down two, you have to come back and you have to win, win, and then get it to the tiebreaker. Uh, I felt like that, you know, we didn't come back as on fire and as with much energy as that we should have. I felt like they played maybe a little bit, maybe not as well this morning, but they were pretty steady. They were pretty steady pretty much did what their, you know, what their stats say they do. I felt like we fell off. As much as I was a proud for them to fight back this morning, take it to five, I will say I was that much disappointed with the second match of the day. Um, and we're in this three game series, which I'm not fond of, but in preseason, we do play two matches a day, uh, but not in conference. So. You know, with that said, I, I'm disappointed in our in our execution in the way we played the second match. On the first one, to have such a young team go so long in the first set, 37-35, to be right. down 2-0 in four submittal sets. Right. I mean, are you seeing glimmers of the I am. I am. You know, and that's a great point. 35, 37. Then we're down two. Then we come back and win two. Then we only get beat by two points. I do see a lot of upside to our young players. I really see that, and that's exciting. And, you know, sometimes young players don't have the perseverance uh, that you need, like, to go into that second match and really play every point, you know, like it's game point and things like that. They just don't have that experience. And we have four freshmen on the court all the time. Looking at your four players, one of them, Laura Jansen, 23 kills in the first match, 14 kills in the second. What is she doing that's made her so effective? Laura is, Laura came in. Um, she wanted to be, to me, the epitome of a Division I player. She's done everything that all the coaches has asked her to do. I'm talking about from Coach Barron, from the diet to the workout. She's gotten stronger. She's gotten quicker. She jumps higher. And then she has the mentality of a Division I player, what it takes to be that player. And she's, she's worked for it. Her personality, she's the captain of the team. She can lead by example on the court, off the court. So, I mean, she's a fun player to watch. I think we will get that day in and day out out of Laura. Preseason, Lee Mayer was, was kind of described from, by the coaching staff as relentless. In two matches, she had 56 games. It seemed like she's been relentless on the court. Yes, yes. She's very relentless. She works hard every day in practice. She never gives up. She's coachable. She's, she, is, she is a relentless player, and that's what you have to have in a libero. She just refuses to let a ball hit the floor if she can get it. So we are really proud that Lee is part of our team. What She's going to help us. With such a young team, what does it mean to have that mentality in your locker room and on the court? Well, the mentality of which men, of Lee, oh my goodness, yes. But Lee's mentality, if that spreads throughout the, the team and everybody has her mentality, and, and that kind of men, mentality kind of you catch on, it's kind of catching within your team. Uh, if everybody, one does it, two does it, then you have the whole team 
really, really want to be, you know, just persevere through everything. So it's a very positive attitude to have and a very positive attitude among young players. So that's, a, that's been a good thing for us. Seems like the early match was a confidence booster and we've got the ability to play mm -hmm. with teams in this league. And mm -hmm. then the late match was a wake up call of what we right. have to do to get ready to play. I think that's very well said. Very well said, Patrick. Because, you know, the first, exactly what you said, the first match was that, you know, we, we had to rise to the occasion to play this with Division One, And then the second match was you never can let up with a Division One team because they will make you compete all the time for the points. And see, with a young team, I think they don't understand that. Not quite yet. Louisiana's got some talent on their team, but it seems like their center splitting up the, the, the passes has really made their offense come a very balanced threat. The, the setter, the only weakness that setter has is that she is small and she's a liability on the front row. But her offense is so quick that, and she, can keep, she delivers the ball right on the money, right on the money for her middles, for her outsides, for her right sides, and it's quick. And quick in, in volleyball, you're gonna beat the defense if you can get the ball you know, to your hitters quickly. She's a good little setter, a really good little setter. Quick turnaround for match three tomorrow. You gotta get rest, you gotta get hydrated, yes. you gotta get nourished, rest. and get going at one o'clock. What's the message to the team in terms of erasing this and prepping for tomorrow? Put it behind us, put it behind us. We have to put all, you know, you just have to put yesterday's game behind you and start all over again. Come in with the intensity that we played the first match with. You know, get your legs back under you, get food, get, you know, get hydrated, and let's come in fresh. I mean, we know the team, uh, the, we have, you know, we, the scout report is done, we know this team. It's a matter of execution now. It's just a matter of can we execute our game plan.